Let me show you a game that blends the best elements of FTL and Sunless Sea. And that game is on early access today, and it is called Abandoned Ship. And this has got to be one of the coolest games I've played in a long time. Like, I want to show you gameplay, but like, I want to just take a step back and just admire this map. So I'm in ex exploration mode right now, and as I go about the area, it'll start to fill in this fog of war, right? But this is exactly what you think it is. This is a painting. This is the border on the portrait, and this is a blank canvas that when I explore, I begin filling in and painting my world. It's something so simple, but it has such a huge, huge impact. So I escaped from a cult and now a captain of the ship, I need to escape and there will be many battles. There have been many battles and, uh, I've got an objective now, but I just, I really enjoy this part. This is, this is so satisfying because then I can zoom out again and look at that. It just looks so good, but we're going to make our way t to this encounter. A cult ship has been sighted in the distance. All the eyes of your crew strain fiercely to determine its heading. You feel as though you can somehow sense the ship's intent. It maintains its course. They haven't deemed you worth investigating. Well, let's go fight them. So we're going to keep our distance here. We've got everyone on the guns. Uh, we're going to get actually get a little bit closer. So this is a tactics game. I mean, there's some strategy to it, but it's really more about the tactics. I can do this active pausing and I can tell crew members to go do certain actions. Now, I don't necessarily have to do that right now, um, but as battles progress, uh, that may be the case. Um, but it's also good for having a breather. So I'm going to tear up their mast. I'm going to make them do a lot of work on that hull. So I've already locked in my firing, so I really don't have to do anything else beyond this. But uh, with the chain shot, I have to aim it specifically. Uh, so now we're getting closer to one another. Now I could put someone on the grape shot. I should probably do that. Let's see. Set these sails. Go down over here. We'll let that charge up. I don't have any major problems right now, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. They're still trying to repair the damage I've inflicted. Let's try to get most of them at once. There we go. So I'll try to do damage on them. Uh, hurt them real bad. Okay, so I'm going to peel off and do some repairing. I'll bring that. Oh, that's ready. Uh, oh, we're out of range. Okay, so our mast is hurt. Alright, so we'll just bring this guy over there. That's just going to stay ready. Uh, the guns need repairing. These guys are in a bad way. We're totally fine. I mean, that hurt a little bit, but we'll live. Okay. 
We'll get there. There we go. See? They're done. So, that was the cult. Among the flotsam, your crew find a number of trunks. Nothing but junk, one of them exclaims. Another looks crestfallen. So we get some items here. And that's that's it for this. We can now leave combat. So we'll go back to the map here. So filling it in is not only satisfying, but it will lead you to finding battles uh, where you can get more material, food, coin, so on. Uh, there will be ports to discover, so going to port will let you uh, buy upgrades, repair, um, get more crew members, things like that. Um, obviously, purchase bigger and better ships. So we've got ourselves another encounter. I wish I could zoom like a little more uh, granular than just the full map or this. Um, that goes for battles and everything too, but this is totally fine. Let's see what's here. Yeah, let's fight them. I have no reason not to fight these guys. So, uh, my captain, I've named him Johnny Depths. And, uh, and so we're going to engage in battle here. So we can see what their damage looks like. So they're already repairing the masts. So we just got to keep getting closer to them. All right, so that did some pretty heavy damage. We're still doing okay. I like the idea of them like constantly repairing only for it to just go to shit again. Uh, we're doing okay, nothing's flashing red, so that doesn't nothing needs my immediate attention. Alright, so they're having a hard time on the mass now, so if I can keep up this barrage, we'll be okay. So that did good there. I'm gonna actually gonna go over here to the chain shot so I can do some damage on these guys. Oh boy. Right, so I'm having to repair. My masks aren't doing very well either, but that's okay. So I'm trying to delay them. They're repairing their masks, so I'm going to take that out. It's a pretty tough fight, but in the end... stuff so this little compass here will kind of tell me uh, which direction has a gate that I can escape through um, it's currently closed and I have to do these uh, cult encounters to unlock them
So it says two out of four, so I have to complete four of these encounters for the gate to unlock. Alright, so that one... Oop, there we go. Quest dropped to your knees. Feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water, and it's approaching fast. Oh boy. Oh boy. I know what this is. I know what this is. You can't avert your eyes as the, as the royal closes the distance. Whatever it is will be upon you in mere moments. I am not looking forward to this. Yep, the Kraken. You're not prepared to best such a beast. Fight it off and flee. When your maneuver bar is full, press the flee button to initiate your desperate retreat. The bar around the button will fill up. Once it's full, your ship will successfully flee the area. So it is possible to do this later on in the game, but given that I've restarted and I'm so early on, this is a fight I cannot win. Yeah, I shouldn't have even bothered over here. Oh, right, fight. Almost been back on. Alright, flee. I don't have a flea bar yet. We're not charged yet. This sucks. Peace. I'm hoping to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we're gonna have to fight it one more time before we can actually go. Yep, we stopped. God, I hate this part. Yeah, I'm working on it. There we go. Alright, so it's gonna come every so often. You know, I can't believe a game like this just hasn't been made before. Um, I love both FTL and Sunless Sea, and this just feels so good. All right, where was that other other encounter? It's over by the gate. Sail ho, your topman bellows. You race from your cabin and squint hard into the rush of chill salt spray. There's no mistaking it. Those are cult colors, and they're getting bigger. If they remain at large, you'll carry the new they'll carry the news of our location to their foul brethren. We must sink them fast. I'm with you. Let's do that. Uh, one thing to note is that the reason why my characters all start in the same spot is because I actually have a saved location with this button here. Um, and if they get out of position, I can actually um, um, recall them to their saved position. Oh, sprung a leak! So if I get a hull crack, I actually take on water, which is indicated in the lower left here. I'm not sure if my dad guy is doing that. There we go. And then once I've repaired the hull crack, I can then take my guy here and pump out the water so I don't continue to take it on. Captain Johnny Depths over here. Mm -hmm. 
just start getting this going once I repair it. Fix our masts here. Oops. So I need to hurt them. Okay, back to this. We're doing pretty good damage there. They're doing less to us. Helmsman's doing great. And by getting these people distracted, then they're not working on the guns, right? Um, much, much as I, because I'm taking on water again. Okay, so we're we're a little hurt, but we're okay. We should be able to finish this, no problem. I'm gonna bring him down to there. Bring him down to here. We're gonna finish this. We will be fine. Um, I've found that every single battle um, is harrowing. Like, you go into each battle pretty much prepared to die as if every fight was your last kind of thing. Like, you're constantly, constantly feeling like you're going to die. Like, you don't really ever feel powerful this early in the game. Every battle is, like, by the skin of your teeth. You manage to retrieve a number of crates with a giant J etched into every side. Inside are expensively lacquered wooden sparrow carvings. The first crate was great, but after that, the novelty wears off fast. All right, so now we should have our gate open. Wrong way, right? Yep, need to go down. Come here, shippy. Now that the danger has passed, the crew bombard you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult worship it. It's part of what they call the Great Project. You refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible, for their sake and yours. So the cult worship Cthulhu. Um, and so the Kraken and everything surrounding this, giving it that supernatural tone, like really just helps the game because it's not just pirates and it's not just this seafaring adventure as maybe you're used to like that little twist on it is really exciting. The charts you found in the captain's cabin show a nearby port. Land safe from the infernal monster. So the gate closes up. We don't know how many um, encounters we need to get through to open the gate next. So this, this part of the quest is kind of it's still kind of teaching you things uh, early on, but I feel like the tutorial really captures everything you need to know about the game. Um, from kind of the fleeing aspect to kind of teaching you everything about port and combat encounters. It doesn't leave you hanging or wondering what the hell you're doing. Uh, this is the campaign mode. There's actually um, like a separate story mode where it's oh, endless waves of combat encounters, but you do get a reprieve where you go to port and you can buy more crew members and repair your ship and outfit it differently for upcoming battles. But 
each battle is more difficult than the last. So it's not... I haven't gotten to an ending, but I don't think it's intending for you to actually complete it. I, I don't really know, but it's it's been very challenging um, compared to this. And as I said at the beginning, this is a game in early access, but if it's got a certain amount of polish to this that I really like. Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would all still be prisoners of the cultists, or worse, without you. You suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can all part ways. Your head aches, more than it should, and unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story to ceremonial wine. Hey, my head's pounding. I'm going to go to bed. You jolt awake, clammy, head pounding. The rum, sh surely. Yet, it feels more familiar than that, more insidious. Something within you cries out, and then so do you. In Inca, cream, scream, cream. Your crew stir from their beds just as the door flies off its hinges. Two shadowed forms crossing the shred hold. threshold. Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron a nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creature. Superstitious folktales made real. You've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. In your cabin, angry discussion rages about the Halifron while you sit silent in contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts, the hiding is pointless. Land offers no haven. The cult will not rest until they have you, and all free men, under their yoke. This is a problem only solved by shot, steel, and willing hearts. Your best and only chance is to strike a crippling blow to the cult, to kill the Kraken. The crew stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the Halifron have always been out there, unseen and preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. You tell them of your headaches, and how you feel there is some connection between those creatures, the Kraken, and yourself. Your plan to go on the offensive, to cut the head off the snake, is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. They are not heroes of old, hunting mythological sea creatures. You cannot force them to join you on what may be a suicide mission, and despite their regret, they leave. It is just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the shipwright before recruiting some more crew. Perhaps coin will buy greater loyalty. I like the adventure, like choose your own adventure almost aspect of the game of where things unfold, things and events happen that you have to prepare for. Hell yeah, I'll buy a mortar. No, I don't want to sell anything. It's going to guide me through this. I left the tutorials on. We're good. Approaching a tavern door, a hand grabs your shoulder. You pivot, primed to fight only to be faced with your former crew. Captain, these cultists seem to have tarred us with your brush. We might all be safer together now. Plus, be a shame if we were left out of the songs about you. They hand you a small, heavy pouch to put towards hiring an extra hand. All right, so right now we have ourselves, myself, the captain, the navigator, a gunner, um, 
and guy who repairs sailor. Okay. Um, so I don't do much fighting to have a marine. Maybe that'll be my final one, but we'll increase morale. Let's head out. All right, let's uh, let's get to fighting again. Uh, so I've got a new guy, so we'll put him on that, and we'll save. Go after those. And they are being gnarly first thing. Oh, I've got a mortar. Stop moving. Oh, we're not close enough yet. Blast. Alright, we'll get this mortar up and running. Uh, there's a lot of information uh, that the game gives you. Oh boy. Uh, oh man, I should have bought the marine because now I'm going to have to do some fighting on the ship. I still mess this up. I'm going to fix our masts. I'm gonna take our guy to there. We'll go up here. Come on, get closer. We're not getting closer. Alright, work with him and fix that, please. Alright. Well, I didn't get to use the mortar, but that's all well and good. Plenty of time for that. Alright. So this port is no good now. So there's more battles. Um, and this is kind of the the flow from here on out, is engaging in battles, opening gates, moving on, and continuing to flee. Along the way, you find your ports and spend money on upgrades and additional crew to help you. And and, it, and it's somewhat familiar. I, it's, it seems like it's got the ship fairing and sea exploring of Sunless Sea um, with kind of the heavy narrative that guides it. And then FTL in the way that you're fleeing and handling combat, strategizing during combat, and then uh, employing tactics to kind of uh, repair ship elements that may get a, a, are on fire, and you got to put out the fire. Or um, there's times where you're taking on the water, and you know you got to do that repair. Sometimes. Fires get put out by the by uh, thunderstorms if you're in battle, or if you're in the like the Arctic area, your ship will take damage from the icebergs it hits. All right, so because we've gone to the gate now, we know that it's going to take four encounters to to get ourselves out of here. And I'm playing on the normal difficulty. I think maybe playing on easy. It, Cuts it down to three, something like that. Halifron. Oh, look at them converge. Halifron. That's that's what they said. Captain, Captain Johnny Depths. Oh, you get over there. Let me destroy that. Oh no. Oh no. So 
So when they die, they they leave some uh, acid. I'm gonna, I need to stabilize this guy. Oh boy, come back. Oh, that was close. Okay. Man. So, yeah, like, nothing is ever safe. Land, sea, um, these knowing encounters are never safe. Like, it's just super cool. Um, and it looks and feels great. Like, for a game on early access, like, stigma or not, this is one of the better games that's out there. There's a lot more planned for this game. Uh, the story mode's not finished yet. Um, lots of cool stuff in the future, and I think this is totally worth it right now. All right, that's Abandoned Ship. Thank you so much.